it's no longer news that on every year Nigeria produces a large number of graduates from various tertiary institutions here in the country. In the same vein, we found that most of those graduates they can actually defend their certificate and they are given issues for a lot of HR in various companies to recruit these people. So the question is, do you think that people should be recruited based on their certificate or based on their experience and what they can offer to that particular company? So my name is Michael Young. Welcome to Street Opinion, where we get amazing views and opinions from people here in the streets. So let's go on a quick commercial break and we'll let pay some views and when we come back we have various opinions and reaction onto this topic. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Please what's the name? Anne Luakpo. I will say with the certificates because with the with the pain and struggle we pass through in second um, in secondary school and coming to university, like the pain we are passing through, I think it's certificates. I think they should we should um, they, if they want to employ someone, maybe they should work on both, both the certificate and maybe experience or skills. What's the name? Uche. I think it should be based on what they can offer to the company. Mm. Yes, because um, some can have mm. certificate and not have the right skills to. Um, to assist the company, but someone can have the right skills and probably don't have, um, didn't get the opportunity to get a certificate. Mm. You can actually go to university and you can't defend your goals because maybe you know there are some people that just go to school just to read, 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 read. Mm. So doing reading is just the um, we like call it the theoretical part of it, yeah. and then we have the practical part of it, which is actually applying it to real life. Mm. So applying it to real life is more um, productive than actually the theoretical part. So it's very, very, that's why they always encourage people that when you are in school, also try to get the right set of skills so that when you go out there, you don't just have the theoretical knowledge, you also have the practical knowledge. Absolutely. What's the name? My name is Eluato Viloba. It's actually based on the experience and what he or she can offer to the company. Because now in Nigeria, basically, let me talk about our country, most of our certificates are not real. I apologize my words. Most of my certificates are not real. So I feel they should actually employ people with their experience. Though so sometimes not experience like even to get the job that they ask you that you have five years experience you know just for exact for example now if you're a new buy and you're just looking for a job opportunity I mean experience with the fact that if you have a good human manager human resource manager the human resource manager should be able to actually draw out the potential in you I mean you should have a potential or the capacity for you to actually keep the company rolling and for you to actually bring out what you actually want like what you actually want the company to look like for example if you want to go for a job now i'm expecting you as an human resource manager to actually treat the company like your own company and i'm expecting a very good thing not in your certificates but in you but not in your certificates please what's the name i'm jordan okay very simple do you think that people should be employed based on their certificates or based on their experience and what they can offer to the company i think they should be employed based on their experience Mm. and what they can offer to the company. So why do you say so? Oh, well, as a student, yeah, there are things I've seen that I'm like, oh, is my certificate going to give me a job? Because I was coming from Union Ocean. Okay. Then I was doing well. I thought I was going to stay there because I was first class in Union Ocean. Wow. Then when I came to Unilag, I dropped to second class upper. So I feel it's, it should be based on experience. Please, what's the name? Asia. I think based on their experience. Why do you say so? Um, if you have a certificate and you, and you don't have an experience, I don't think you should be employed because why having a certificate when you can offer anything to the company? I think experience is better because you are experienced. I know you add to the company, you have some meaning to the company, not that just having a certificate. A certificate will not do anything if you are not mentally sure you understand. Yeah. And, that's just it. That's what I Please, what's the name? Bola. The one with what they can offer. Why? Because there are some people that actually have like certificates or actually go to the school but still do not even know uh, like a lot of things like experience. Mm. You understand? But those people that actually have um, like idea yeah. know more about this work but you know in Nigeria you just want everything about certificates. Yeah. Certificate. So what's the name? 
glide. I think it should be based on both actually because if you don't have the experience you might not be able to run certain roles so I think that's why they have training programs in most offices mm. so if you are fresh off the university you have to go through a training program sometimes six months sometimes so that you'll be able to gather experience to run that role so it's the both actually. But that's been a great one today on the street we heard all they have said remember our topic today is to employ anyone in this country do you think we should go for the certificate or go for the experience or what the person can offer but if you heard all their reactions their opinions and views on this topic some say certificates some so go with the experience and what they can offer so you what is your own opinion what is your thought on this so to follow us on this conversation all you have to do is just drop your comment on the comment section let us hear your thoughts and your views on this matter don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles our facebook instagram twitter linkedin and tiktok and please subscribe on our youtube channel and most especially download our app on google play store my name is terry man your host here on the street my name is michael young have a great and wonderful day thanks for watching and bye for now.